me and my other classmates, um, at least six of us, maybe may more, uh, we couldn't wear our eagle feathers. What has been a subject of controversy in the past is now in the hands of state lawmakers. House Bill 3046 would further protect freedom of religion in Oklahoma, making it easier for Native American students who want to wear regalia at graduation. Now, there is a history of schools stopping students from doing that, as we showed you last year. Tonight, Two Works for You's Sierra Pizarro met the family that fought so their graduate could wear an eagle feather. Feathers, patterns, and colors stand for true Native American pride. You know, it's just showing the pride of who we are. It's just not a decoration, but it's, it's just who we are. The expression of heritage hasn't been easy. There are a couple schools that had rejected um, a couple of tribal members from wearing any type of regalia other than the black cap and the, you know, the gown. Including Vianne High School, William Christie graduated in 2018. He was only allowed to wear his eagle feather underneath his gown. They just kept saying no and no and no. All the answers were no, even to the last day on graduation. After months of fighting, Christie's sister was able to wear her tribal regalia when she graduated last year. Eagle feathers and represents, you know, achievements, strength, honor, um, and you know, for, for letting us to wear those on graduation now, it, you know, it really expresses who we are as Native people. The issue is now recognized at the state level. We never want an, an, an erosion of free speech or freedom of religion. I mean, I wouldn't want a school to be able to tell me I couldn't wear a, 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 a cross around my neck at graduation or, or something along those lines. Representative Trey Caldwell authored Oklahoma House Bill 3046 to ensure freedom of religion. It states no governmental entity shall burden a person's free exercise of religion. A school nor district policy prohibits students from wearing tribal regalia during graduations. If the bill passes the legislature, it could be enacted in November. I'm Sierra Pizarro, Two Works for You.